So in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing recursion in C. In the previous video, we have discussed what is recursion with one example, like one problem is given, which is containing recursion and how to solve that problem, right? But that method was a little bit lengthy. If a recursion program is given, a problem is given that is having recursion in any competitive exam, like in gate exam, net exam, then you don't have much time to follow that approach. So here we will solve this problem, the recursion problem with second method. With this method, you will take very less time to solve the problem which is having recursion, right? This, this problem we are going to solve, right? Now, before that, I just want to tell you one thing. If you are preparing for GATE 2022 exam or will be preparing for this exam, then an academy has started a rank improvement badge for GATE 2022 aspirants. In this badge, the top educators will take practice sessions on each subject followed by a subject test and analysis session of the subject test in a live session. So this batch is mainly designed for the learners who are preparing for GATE 2022 exam. All your doubts related to the topics will be clarified during the sessions in the course and the course will be conducted in Hindi and English. And they are also going to conduct a test, scholarship test for GATE and ESC aspirants on 24th of October. So you can take this test for free and you can also win a chance to be mentored by the best faculties at an academy. It is like all India live test. You can compete with the learners from all over the country and get all India rank. And you can perform at your best and stand a chance to win personal guidance and scholarship. And after the test, you can get in-depth topic-wise analysis of the test to help, you know, to improve your weak areas. So just have to enroll for this. The enrollment link I'll put in the description box of this video and use my code JKL10 to unlock this test. You can, you know, pick the right test for you and just click enroll. And one more four month subscription is there for GATE and ESC 2022 aspirants. What you will get in this four month subscription, you can see the detail on my screen. So it's like the best pick for you guys. And if you will use my code JKL10, you will get extra 10% discount on this uh, subscription. So all the relevant links and the details I'll put in the description box of this video. If you are interested, you can go and check out. So now let's see how to solve this problem. This, this is like uh, you can say uh, a program to print sum of n natural numbers like here we are passing sum is equal to 5 so it will print sum of uh, 5 natural number like 1 2 3 plus 4 plus 5 if you pass here 10 it will print sum of 10 natural number up to 10 natural number right so now yeah here here better to write here like we will write we are using variable x so we will write here rather than a because a is local to this main so if you uh, use here a it will give error so return x and here also we will write rather than a we are uh, writing x we are taking variable x right i hope that's fine now now see so we will solve this problem with the second method that will take less time so what is the process first of all the control will go to the main function right i hope whenever the program would be executed that would be you know uh, located some memory into the main memory in three section one is code section one is stack memory one is heap memory right and you can access the program can access like whatever the variable we are going to create here the memory will be directly accessed from the stack memory you cannot directly access the memory from the heap area that memory we can access using pointers like when we dynamically allocate memory using malloc and calloc obviously using pointer then the memory would be allocated from the heap area i hope you know that this basic concept right now first of all main so some memory would be allocated to this main function like one stack frame would be you know uh, hold for this main memory so here we have a variable a there is nothing in this now a is equal to some 5 we are calling this function or some 5 so it will search for the definition here we have the definition so here are passing 5 so simply we can write here some we are calling we are passing 5 so we are calling this now x becomes x become uh, 5 here now here we have s is equal to 0 so whatever we are going to execute that we will write here the statement we will write here right so now here s oh, okay we have s variable and that is 0 now if x is equal to, is equal to 1 this condition is not true so we are not going to enter into this if block i am not writing any curly braces if you will not write curly braces means by default only one statement written after this if would be considered as part of this if block only this return x would be part of this if right so now we are not going to enter into this if now after this we have the statement s is equal to x plus sum x minus 1 so again we are calling this function right so what statement would be executed x plus this now x value here is what 5 5 so 5 plus 
sum x minus 1 that is 4. Again we are calling this function. So, whatever you are going to execute that statement we will write here. Again x is equal to 0, x is 1, no condition is not true. So, we are going to execute this statement now x plus this. Now, is this time x is what? 4, we are passing 4. So, x is 4 plus sum x minus 1 that is 3, 4 minus 1 that is 3. Now, we are, we are again calling this. So, whatever we are, we are going to execute that we will write here. So, again this condition is not true. So, x x is 3, 3 plus we are calling again sum, but x minus 1 that is now 2. Now, whenever we will call, when we, now this time we will pass 2. So, what statement would be executed? This condition not true again x plus sum 1, 2 minus 1, 1. So, now we are passing, we are calling sum 1. So, now this time x is 1. So, now whatever we will, we are going to execute that statement we are going to write here. Now, see check x is equal to is equal to 1. Yes, condition 2 this time. This time x value is 1. So, now which statement would be executed? Return x. So, return x value is what? 1. Return 1. So, now control will be where? Back to where you are calling, from where you are calling this one, right? This time this statement would not be executed, right? Now, from where we are calling this, this statement, uh, this someone, the, so this return would be where? Here, back. We are going to be, no, uh, no, we are going to be in backward direction in the same process, in the same flow. So, now return 1. So, 1 would be, this would be replaced with 1. So, 2 plus 1 becomes 3, right? Now, where this would be returned? Here. Because from here we are calling this one. So, sum 2. Now, this, this function call becomes 3. So, now here this would be replaced with 3. Now, 3 plus 3 is 6 and this would be back to here because from here we were calling this one. So, 6, this is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10. Now, this 10 would be backward. From here we were calling this sum 4. So, this 10, the sum 4 would be replaced with 10. 10 plus 5 is equal to 15, right? And now 15 would be back to here, sum 5. From where we were calling the sum 5? From the main function. So, what value would be returned back? 15. So, here it is 15. So, now A, what value would be stored? 15. So, it will print 15. That's it. You just have to write down this thing. And simply, after reaching the base condition, this is the base condition, simply go backward in the same direction. That's it. It will take less time. Rather than, you know, keeping that stack and each for each function call one frame and everything that would be lengthy process right this is very easy and you know very uh, simple process less time consuming i hope you got the working of this program how you are getting the output right if you are not getting this one it's okay this happens with everyone it's a little bit tough if you practice some programs if you practice this process with 5 or 10 programs automatically you will get it right so, if you are not getting right now, it is okay. You can watch this video again, you can practice this, you can pause this video, you can write down this program on your, you know, uh, pen in, on your copy and you can just practice it at your own. If you are still not getting, you can watch the video again and you can again practice. After practicing 5 or 10 programs, you will get it, right? See, we are, we are returning this, 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 like 3 plus, uh, sorry, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 would be returned here. Now, 3 plus 3 is 6. Now, 6 would be returned here. So, this 6 is what? 6, 10, 15. This is what? S, sum, this variable, right? And after this, we have this statement, return S. So, if you, you know, uh, you know, watch out this code also, then also you will get it. So, return S, this statement is returning this 3, then 6, then 10, then 15. And 15 would be returned here finally, right? Because we are we are again we are still writing uh, one more statement that is return s return this sum. 
fine. So now in the next video we will see types of recursion, right. So now I will see you in the next video, till then bye bye, take care.